Pepper the Capuchin Monkey I was fuming. All around me, my classmates bragged. A talking parrot, a hutch full of rabbits, a pair of highly pedigree twin Persian cats. And I fumed. And what pet did I have? An ancient dog who just slept and ate and sometimes ate and slept to alter his routine. And what about you, dear? Tell us something about your pet. A, uh, a monkey. Ah. ah! How unique! Do come to the front of the class and tell us all about it. Now, if there's one thing I am more of an expert at than wildlife, it is the art of telling tall tales. So. Peppa the capuchin monkey was born. She was light brown with a dark head and pink ears. She was fond of old baggy t-shirts. Peppa had an insatiable appetite for instant coffee powder. On inquiry, I told my classmates that capuchins were a South American breed of primates. Where did I get Peppa? Um, uh, an uncle had been presented one when he had gone on an expedition to look for undiscovered tribes of South America. I rattled on, getting quite caught up in my own fantasy. Why didn't you ever tell us before? Well, uh, I, um, I didn't want to show off, you know. What does she eat? Why does she sleep? How old is she? Oh, oh, please, can we see her? Don't ask me how I wriggled out of that one, but I did, for the time being at least. In the meanwhile, the fantasy attained greater heights within me. I could see little Pepper, actually see her. And when... One day, a rat chewed a corner of my Sanskrit exercise book. That came the reply. I'm really sorry, Mrs. Raina. You see, my capuchin monkey is teething and she's chewing up everything in sight. I'll get a new book and copy out all the exercises again. No, no, that won't be necessary at all. But tell me. What are you going to do about the monkey's teething? Oh, we gave her ice cubes and baby chewy toys. You know the kind babies use? I saw the end of Pepper approaching with the onset of August, my birthday month. Fond as I had become of my fantasy pet, I wasn't about to miss my birthday party for her. So, with a heavy heart, I killed Pepper. What's the matter? Pepper died. Oh, poor Pepper. Poor you. How did it happen? We were going out. We had to leave her. But she managed to unlatch a window. She was so clever. Down the Kulmohar tree she came. She tried to chase the car. We didn't see her, and we all broke down together, weeping real tears for a make-believe monkey. To make doubly sure that no one mentioned Pepper at my house, I would burst into fresh tears every time someone so much as made a passing reference to monkeys. Surely no one would be so cruel as to make me cry on my birthday. But there was someone so cruel. Rosemary Fernandez had been absent with the fever since the day Pepper had been killed. But Rosemary Fernandez was invited. They were all crowded into my room, bringing presents and good wishes. And just then, and just then, 
I say, where's your monkey? My elder sister stood at the door, gaping, and my gaze unwillingly went to meet hers. Mute, guilty, pleading, please, please keep your mouth shut. L I A R. She mouthed, no sound escaping her lips. My sister dashed away, unable to control her laughter any longer.